the Lord will give strength unto his people. Bring unto the Lord, ye sons of God. Bring unto the Lord glory and honor. The reading is from St. Paul's second epistle to the Corinthians. Brethren, since we are fellow workers, we entreat you also not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable season I hearkened unto thee, and in a day of salvation I helped thee. Behold, now is the acceptable season. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no occasion of stumbling in anything, that the ministry is not blamed, but in everything commending ourselves as ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in vigils, in fasts, in purity, in knowledge, in longsuffering, in kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in love unfeigned, in the word of truth, in the power of God, by the weapons of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by glory and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet also rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Peace be to thee that freedom. Hear the Holy Gospel. Peace to thy spirit. Be to all and to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to the Lord. Glory. Let us attend. <coughs> At that time, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and many of his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew to the gate of the city, behold, the man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came and touched the bear, and the bearer stood still, and Jesus said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all. And they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people. Oh, glory to the Lord. Glory. 